Kia ora, Bottles. Thanks again for tuning in to yet another video from this coming at you live from the West Coast. Yet again, San Jose, California. So we are unboxing some clamshell bags from Viking today. So I'm pretty excited to see what's inside of this box. Of course, these uh, saddlebags were sent to me free of charge. So uh, I'll, I'll put that up front. I did not pay for these saddlebags. They gave me a lot of options. They gave me quite a bit of options as far as you know what I wanted. Uh, I liked the way that these look. And of course, they're clamshell bags, and um, uh, you know they're they're even. All right, the right side the right side bag is the same size as the left side bag with these. But you know that being said, these are significantly smaller than your lowrider ST bags. I believe they're about half the size. So you know, just a heads up in case you're considering these. They are a little bit smaller. So if you're thinking about cargo space, these uh, these these are smaller than your uh, than your lowrider ST. But I believe as far as the shape and the style, they're pretty much the same. So that's why I went ahead and I picked these. Like I mentioned, they have a lot of great options, a ton of great options, and some of them that are uh, you know quite uh, large as well. They have saddlebags that have double the capacity that these got. So let's go ahead and look at what's inside the box so you guys are able to see. We have the saddlebags here and here. I'm going to see if my camera bag fits in these. That's just my, like my one concern. It's just will my camera bag fit in these saddlebags? That's it. And like I said, these are clamshells so they open up vertically. Let's go ahead and see what's inside real quick in case you guys are wondering. This is, uh, I didn't ask for anything else special, so I'm not too sure if they sent me anything else as far as a quick detach system, because they do have a quick detach system, but I believe they sell that separately. So you would have to pay an additional, I believe it's over $100. I can't remember off of the top of my head, but they do have a quick detach system. So this looks to be the mounting hardware. Right in here, you have a couple uh, extended bolts. So this should uh, go through your fender, your struts, and um, and the saddlebag. Okay, so you have, of course, the nut washers. I can see washers in there, nuts. Are they nylon nuts? No, it's just, it's just uh, nuts. Uh, you have a little Viking uh, logo. And, of course, here's what's inside. You have the bolts. Uh, four bolts of each, spacers, you also have spacers, spring washer, uh, those are the sizes, three eight by two and a half, and there's a few, there's two, there's four of them, so, okay, so they're giving you, they're giving you enough, uh, um, you know, hardware to kind of, based off of, if you have a quick detach system or whatever, because this one is an inch longer than the other ones, so you guys can see, they're, they're all three by eights, so there are pretty thick bolts uh you have you have a you have four of two and a half inch in case you don't have a quick detach system or, or one not and then you have a few that are three and a half uh three and three quarters wow that's 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 a, that's, a, that's an inch and one quarter longer than the other ones in case you have like a like a sissy bar or whatever so they're giving you they're, they're giving you enough uh on here to it would fit with pretty much anything, which is pretty neat. All right, so you have uh, different bolt sizes for just in case whatever you have uh, with your bike. So there's that. Let's go ahead and look at what's this. So we have the hardware for the um, mounting. These are your brackets. Let's take a quick look at these. Let's see what's in there. And they're heavy, guys. They're heavy. They're about one eighth uh, thick, in case you're wondering how thick it is. Go ahead and just look at a few. And uh, yeah, there it is. So you can see some welds all the way around, of course. Look how thick that is. And, then, and they got some weight to it. So they're metal. Like I said, they're one eighth uh, thick. It gives it a little bit more strength having you know a shape like this. You, you have the L, of course. So as far as stability and vibrations and stuff like that, this, this should be pretty good. This should be pretty good. So 
Uh, I'm just wondering about how thick this is. So let me grab a measuring tape real quick so we can just see what's going, what what kind of gap spacing are we looking at between the fender and the saddlebag? It's just this is stuff that concerns me because I like I like my 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 uh, my bike to look pretty clean, pretty tight. Uh, you're at an inch and a quarter. All right, max an inch and a half. I say it's, it's about an inch and a quarter on these. So in case you guys are wondering, the spacing between the saddlebag, the bracket, and your fender, your fender strut, you're looking at an inch and a quarter. That's pretty thick. All right. So of course, it looks like you'll have to probably drill three holes onto your saddlebag. From what I've been seeing, uh, as far as uh, you know, other other people's videos on on the uh, on the YouTube and stuff, and based off of you know my my own, my own experience with these saddlebags i've owned uh i've owned a, a i've i have owned uh viking saddlebags before on my 05 uh evil sportster so you have washers mounting hardware for uh for the saddlebags so you guys can see those of course you have lock washers and stuff like that you also have the instructions that are provided in here with this bag you have the instructions Let's just take a quick look. If you have any questions, you could call Viking Saddlebags. Um, hold the bag against the fender, measure it, of course. Then, of course, you'll you'll have to drill your holes through this. And here's, you know, the bike, the bracket, and the bag right there. You guys can see. And these were actually the saddlebags that I had on my on my Sportster. It was these ones. Yeah, the, these were the bags I had on my Sportster, but but mine had the spring uh, cut out in them, so pretty clean. You know, it, it it was pretty tight because of the cutout on the on my Sportster. It it it, it would hug the uh, the shock very nicely. So um, what is this? Having three degree tilt outward optional. So what is that? Bag. What is that uh, optional? Something. A strip, a strip. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure. Well, we'll have to tilt control if you desire to lower and bag away from the bike. Use tilt control between the fat bracket, uppermost hole that touches the fender. So I guess somehow you you'd be able to extend this or something. I'm not sure. Huh. Well, there's there's four brackets in there. And that's how many you need. All right. Anyways, put the instructions away. You guys can see there's instructions. You'll have to drill the bags. I don't mind drilling. All right. If if drilling is is a huge issue for you, then you uh you know you'll, you'll probably be looking at different options. And I have a ton of different options on the on the channel if you guys want to take a look at that. So that's your mounting hardware. That's no. This is your mounting. Hard, yeah. That's the saddlebag hardware. Mounting hardware. Plenty of different options, and what is this? What was in this? Oh, that was. Oh, yeah, this was in there. Sorry. So that was in there. Hardware. Short. Short fat made in Pakistan. So, thank God it's not made in China. All right, let's go ahead and look at what we have here. We have the keys. I believe you're you're provided with two keys. So let's go ahead and move this stuff out. We'll grab the first saddlebag. So we have the key. Let's go ahead and open what these look like. Damn, these are pretty long. You guys can see the uh, the overall shape of it. Let's go ahead and let's try not to uh, scratch the paint because I, I also want to see what the what the finish looks like on this. We got a bag off the padded bag we got that off what does that say what is this uh what cam 200 p 38 that's probably the quality control let's go ahead and pull this out it is heavy guys it's a heavy heavy saddle bag all right i i'll we're also going to wait just because i'm wondering wow 
there it is it's got some minor scuffing of course you guys can see just minor scuffing I mean it's not that bad it's got a it's got a metallic or yeah it's like a metallic to it too as well it looks really nice Man, I, I believe they, they had just buffed this, or I'm not too sure, but man, this, this is just super soft. But you can see, I think it is just like buffed or whatever. It looks like they, they had recently just buffed it because it, it's really slippery. But man, it is a heavy bag, and these look exactly like the Sportster, the, the, the Sportster S. Let's go ahead and look at the bottom of it. You guys can see the, the latching. It's also color matched to the saddlebag. Minor little imperfections. It's not perfect, guys, of course. You guys can also see on the inside, they've added uh, a little bit of a, of a stability or strengthening to the, to the backside. These little uh, um, ridges or whatever you call these. It's just to add, just to give it strength. So hopefully, you know, they're, they're pretty solid and... And they don't shake too much, man. But it is heavy, guys. These are these are heavy bags. And of course, you have the logo, Viking bags. You can see because of the buffing, they they couldn't get, of course, close to the close to their um, emblem. So, but uh, you know, you know what? It looks really good. You guys can let me know in the comments. You guys can see all the swirls already in it. You know, I always do these for all these unboxings. I always look at them, look for imperfections, and this has quite a bit of swirls. You guys can see at the bottom of it, of course, everything. Let's go ahead and open it up. But it is heavy. We're going to put it on, on a scale. And we're going to see how much this thing weighs. I wonder if they're... Okay, they're, they're not locked. You guys can see the clamshell course that's how far they open in case you're wondering of course this is on the bike like this so you know as far as you know how far they open they seem a little a little tight let's go ahead and grab the measuring tape how, how far did they open they open by I'd say I mean if you really pull on it five and a half inches all right that's how far out they 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 pull out by five and a half five and a half five and a half inches is the max for for the opening on these i think five and a half here as you get towards the back of the saddle bag it it reduces significantly significantly so i'd say five and a half towards the front of the bag once you start getting towards the back you move down to five and a quarter then five inches, and then eventually you're at, towards the back, you're at uh, four, four and a quarter. So that's not that much, all right? Depending on what you have, what you're planning to put in here, you guys have to keep that in mind. Five and a half max would be right here. But of course you guys can see the lever over here. Looks pretty solid. It's nice that, uh, that you'll be able to lock the bags. Have you guys seen some of the other Saddlebags are featured. You don't have that. You don't. You don't have that option. I'm wondering about the locking mechanism. It looks very solid. It looks like the latch is actually on both. So as far as security wise, these are pretty solid, guys. All right. If you guys see my other saddlebags that I have, you have a little piece of plastic holding, holding the. Uh, I don't even know if we're in camera this whole time. Uh, as far as the other saddlebags, uh, it's a little piece of plastic holding, uh, you know, the, the lids closed. All right, and I did mention someone could just, you know, rip, rip them open. These are pretty solid. All right, you have a whole locking mechanism that latches onto both, uh, you know, the front and the back of the saddlebag. So that's pretty neat. I'm wondering how the Lowrider ST has their locking mechanism, but you can also see on the inside right over here you have of course the the locking mechanism you can see how these open and close so the lever itself it's not on the spring so it doesn't close up or anything like that 
So you can see you open it and it stays open and it, and, and it stays closed. So as far as the lever itself, there's there's no spring action that pushes them back in. All right, in case you're wondering. The inside is actually pretty neat. All right. It's got like a nylon a fabric, like a nylon inner inner padding and it's all the way around so it's very it's not soft but it's nice that it's uh that it's that it's actually insulated and the build quality on these is it's it's fantastic guys i'm looking at it i'm actually really quite impressed uh overall the build it just sucks that i'm gonna have to drill into it because it's it's got a really nice uh inner uh nylon uh fabric in it that's uh, you know it's pretty heavy duty you can also see what keeps the bags together and you know a little so you know a little something also to notice uh it's fully extended and it, it actually catches whatever is inside so some of these clamshell bags sometimes they might leak a little bit on, on you know towards the opening down here and it's nice to see that that you have that it's not just like a little strip like just one single strip here it's the whole bottom of the saddlebag that actually that, that actually catches all your all your goods and stuff like that so really quite impressed uh you know another thing also you can see the rubber gasket all along the inside of the um of the saddlebag so it's weather sealed it's weatherproof and uh, i really like the locking mechanism on these because it's not only just here you can see that this and this that's that's what locks the backs uh in so it's on both it's on the front and the back so man these are these are really heavy though you know this is these are really heavy the saddlebags that i currently have on my bike they weigh in at five and a half pounds each so total weight we are looking at 11 pounds with the current saddlebags that i do have these ones are really really heavy all right so let's just make some measurements of course you guys saw how much these stick out by if i remember right seven inches does it change yes it does slightly uh it changes from they, they taper down from seven and a, seven seven and a quarter down to i'd say six and a half so they taper down to all the way to the back of these they taper down to six the six inches so you know they're still pretty tight close to the bike right like i said the overall design i do like the little uh, you know subtle design just like the uh the lowrider st they have you know people have made a comment about probably providing larger bags but the, i believe these these are the large so if they could make a larger one that that'd be fantastic that would be pretty pretty neat if, if they do you know offer a little bit more of us uh of a larger size because these i believe have a capacity of 27 liters i believe 27 so uh yes we're on to so seven and then as far as the length of the bags i mean I could measure it from down here. You're looking at 17 inches, but diagonal, you're looking at 20 inches uh, on the bag. So I know sometimes I get I get messaged about what's the size of something. So 17 at the bottom, of course. I would say, you know what? It's pretty close, depending on where you want to measure from. The top 14 at the very peak, 14 inches. From the back of this to the peak of the front 16 inches and like I mentioned uh, 20 inches diagonal peak and then of course at the bottom you're looking at 16 inches so 16 by 7 they're not you know they're not super large but man that weight is really something so let's go ahead and put this on the scale and let's see how much this thing weighs all right so we have the scale here Let's go ahead and put the saddlebag on there. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. Let's go ahead and put that on there. And these weigh in at... Can you guys see that? They're at 8 pounds. 
So these are three pounds heavier than my current setup. All right, so now let's go ahead and grab, let's just grab a little bit of hardware because mine weigh in at five and five and a half with the hardware. Let's grab, let's grab a, here, let's, let's just put it in the saddlebag so we can see how much these really weigh. So we're gonna put in two, what is this? Oh, okay, that's that fat thing, right? That's what, here, we'll throw that in there. We'll throw in the hardware. So this will be a little bit heavier, but this will give you guys the idea of how much these weigh. And I don't think I'm gonna throw bolts. All right, I threw in the whole thing of the hardware. So the two, here, let's see how much just the two brackets weigh in. Just the two brackets alone, you're looking at, wow. We are now at nine pounds. We're at nine pounds now with the with the two brackets that hold the saddlebags. The hardware itself. We also have to include the, hard, the hardware, of course, because this is what holds the. Other. Okay, so there's only two. Um, I really have to look at the instructions. So we'll do that here. We'll just do that because it looks like. There's two and two, so let's go ahead and put that in there, along with the uh, the brackets. All right, so you're at, in case you guys are wondering, you're at uh, nine. Wow, that's that's almost ten pounds. Even though that's that's ounces, fourteen ounces, nine pounds. Four. You're at ten pounds on these saddlebags. So. That is pretty heavy, but man, these things are are built like tanks, man. These you could just feel the quality of it. Like I like I mentioned, you have a better locking mechanism. You have the inner padding. You have the the nylon on the inside. You have the weather stripping. You have uh, you know these are so everything so far. I mean, these just scream quality, but like I said, as far as, you know, the size of them, that's, that's a huge one. All right. The brackets themselves, they're, they're close to, uh, you know, a pound, 16 ounces is a pound. So that's already at 12 ounces. So these are heavy, you know, so far, everything's pretty heavy. Uh, you know, you guys can let me know in the comments, is that... Is that something that concerns you, the weight of these? These are, you know, so both of the saddlebags on the bike, you're looking at 20 pounds on just the saddlebags. That's twice the weight of what I currently have on, on my bike. And of course, my Leather Pros, those weigh in at 40 pounds. They weigh in at 20 pounds each. 20 pounds each. So, you know, Leather Pros... They're half the weight of the Leather Pros. And if you're looking at my uh, uh, Universal hard saddlebags from Amazon, of course, those weigh in. These weigh in twice as much as, as those. And if you look at my Ballistic Nylon uh, saddlebags, the club style saddlebags that I've also featured on the channel, those weigh in at one, what was it, 1.3 pounds? Is that right? You guys want to see me just weigh it real quick? Let's go ahead and wait. All right, I have the scale on. You guys can see it. I still have the bracket in them, so th this is the weight with the bracket. So let's go ahead and remove these heavy, uh, beefy saddlebags. Anyways, getting back on topic, of course, there's the, the saddlebags. They look fantastic. They have some swirls to them already. It is what it is, but it's got a nice metallic uh, finish to it, of course. If you have a vivid... Uh, Vivid uh, a bike. You don't have to worry about paint matching them or anything like that. You pretty much just you know throw them in there and you're pretty set to go. I like the lever system over here. It's black. It's not chrome like on the Lowrider ST, so they blend in. Uh, you know that's also something to note. And of course, like I mentioned, you have the keys, so you're able to lock them. I like the whole locking mechanism. The the weather strip, of course. You know they're these are waterproof. You guys can let me know in the comments what do you guys think is a is a weight thing something 
that concerns you or is it just the capacity of them because like I said they're not large even though it is the, the Viper large saddlebags but man I'm pretty excited we're going to have to see how these how, how these are going to hold up as far as uh, you know the look and everything heavy anyways enough rambling I just noticed that the camera was pointed down the whole time hopefully you guys got to see I, I just tilted the camera a little bit more upwards we'll see how uh, the video kind of edits out but uh, pretty excited to see how these look on the bike life's a risk stay tuned for the install video it's gonna be a you know it's, it's gonna be a big one life's a risk get out there and ride later